Hi, I'm John. And I'm Ted. And welcome back to Awesome Quest. And we're just gonna start again from death because we might as well give Let's it a shot or two. Let's do it. Nope. That is okay. It clipped me. I love the I like the music is really good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love I love 8-bit music. Ooh, ooh, I can talk about this. Um so one of one of the people I play DD with, his name's Aaron. He is lovely. He's a very good bean. Um and on his YouTube channel, which is uh Aaron Good, uh I'll find it and send it to Ted so we can link it. Um, he does, uh, 8-bit chiptune remixes of, like, anime music and shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, like, he, he's done all of the Ruby's, uh, all of the Ruby songs. Oh, you've shown him to me before. Yeah, he's super cool. And he's also the nicest guy. Like, I like this guy. He's a good guy. He's a good boy. He's a good bean. Um, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? That is okay. No, shit it's happens. not. Um... So yeah, like we should we should link him in the description because God, like he's a good guy. I like him. Also, he I don't know if he's subscribed to the channel, but I know he watches episodes. So like shout out to my boy Aaron. I love you. You're great. You played Sogar, and Sogar was a very fun character. And now you're playing Anna, who is frustrating as hell because she's she's so good, and all of all of the rest of us aren't. <laughs> I love, I love Anna. So, I guess, I guess I'll talk about our D&D a little bit. Um, since I'm already on the topic, and it's Saturday, and that's D&D day for me. Um, so I'm, we're in a game that is very nautical themed. Uh, we're, um, and our team, we finally come up with a team name, which is, <laughs> and I think you'll love the wordplay in this. Uh, we went through a lot of, we went through a lot of, like, trial and error. Um, but the name we settled on was the Tempest Intentions, as in like the best intentions, except we're not good at what I'm we do. Let myself get killed. <laughs> um, oh, remember, yeah, it's designed no, to arc. It's designed to arc at a movement pace. Yeah. So like, um, um, the the crew includes um, my character down. August. Who is a a disgraced monk? Who uh, spoilers? Um, except not spoilers because I've already revealed this. Um, the village that the monastery was in um, was razed to the ground by the villagers because they thought um, they thought the monastery itself caused a disease that like ravaged through the village. Which, iro which is ironic, considering the Backstreet Boys reunion tour is still happening. Um, and I didn't realize that at the time. Close to that damn stairway, and now he's... Fuck it. Do we need to... No, we're gonna go for the full 20 minutes, then this will be the last episode for a while, I think. Okay. So, yeah, guys, so what we've decided is... Um, Ted is going to go into an extreme training regiment to defeat Castlevania. Um... But that means we're going to be taking a bit of a hiatus on Castlevania for a we little bit. We have enough Bloodborne episodes that you can get. We can get those out. We could do that, or we could even start something new if we want. Yeah. It's up to you. I, I don't want it to just be me playing a game, though. That's yeah. kind of why I want... Maybe we can... Maybe we can do Sonic Forces. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is it... Does it have the frustrating glitches of other Sonic... 3D games? Um, no, it's actually quite clean. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay. it's actually quite a clean game. It's uh, I it it reminds me of oh, my sweet. personal Death, favorite Sonic game, which is Sonic Generations, which covers like both the 2D and the 3D aspects of Sonic. I'm getting impatient. That's why I'm fucking hey, eating that, it. That is okay. I'll keep talking about D&D. Um, <laughs> so we have my character, who's a disgraced monk. Um, the monastery he was a part of was completely destroyed by the villagers who they were like trying to protect from disease but they uh the villagers believed that like because of what because of like how convenient all of this was uh that For the, the monastery that the monastery caused it um then was we the have... monastery run by secret lizard people from outer space called nabataeans no it was fire by... three houses joke yeah it was run by priests of um, the Raven Queen. So, like, they very much respected death, but they also were healers. Um, 
they understand that death is just a natural part of life. Yeah. Um, and, like, they were very respectful of, like, people who died and stuff like that. Because I, I have a very healthy respect for them. Um, as a, like, as, as a normal human. Um, then we have... Through denial, I'm a mortal. That's true. Um, then we have Andrew Stormwind, an ex-adventurer turned, um, kind of kooky old man. Um... And by kooky old man, I mean, like, he, he just has a lot of interesting eccentricities. Um, nope. Like, for instance, uh, he love he, he loves, like, a perfect window. Like, he's, he's just, like, a crazy old coot. Um, but he's a divination wizard. Um, he uh, also, there have been stories written about his adventuring gang... In, in world, like, in universe, there is, like, actual stories written about this character. And, uh, the character himself has been like, yes, um, Mikhail, my traveling mate, liked to embellish a lot of these stories. So, like, you know that a lot of these stories have falsehoods in them, the, which I think is super funny. The big booty wenches weren't actually the real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a good example, because, like... <laughs> is it really? Um, like, because... And we'll go into Anna. Uh, Anna is an adventurer who kind of modeled her life on, like, the books she read, Freeman. which were the the adventures of the... Uh... Oh! The Red Sails? Oh, I'm gonna get so much flack from my friends for forgetting the name of Anders' original company, but, um... Like, she kind of based her, she kind of based, like, her ideals of duty and stuff on these books she read, on top of the fact that she was raised in a military family. Mm -hmm. um, Anna is by far the most, one of the most complicated characters in our group, because she is very duty-bound, but um, due to, uh, due to some... It's due to some... It, you despawned him. What the fuck? Due to some shenanigans, um, and by I shenanigans, shenanigans I mean bad things. Um, yeah, go, uh, fucking she run was... away from me as soon as you take a three or one quarter of my <laughs> goddamn health bar. Sorry. Uh, no, she, keep going. It's fine. She and um, her entire like uh, company she was sailing with were falsely accused of killing an entire town. God damn it. Um. So like yeah, it was some bad times. And Anna Anna is Anna's trying to kind of like uh clear her name while also simultaneously like bringing justice and goodness to the world around her. She's just a, she's just a very good character. Um then we'll talk about fuck stupid Fleeman. Um then we can talk Sweet about merciful death take me now. Just ravage my asshole. <laughs> Jesus. Um, then we can talk about um, Anvius. Anvius is a tiefling uh, who has amnesia. He's a warlock, though, and we've met his patron. Um, well, we, I mean, like, the players have all heard what happens when his patron comes calling, uh, which is some bad news bears shit. Um, because his patron comes to him in his dreams, um, he's all about fear, so he has to bring fear to people, then steal something from them, uh. um, and then his, his patron takes those items. And fear I or the items? The, the items. Nah, because they're related to the fear in some way. Yep. Um, and my theory is that Anvius, um, failed to bring home items one time when his warlock came to him, which is why he has amnesia. That's my theory. His patron? Yeah, his patron. That's what I meant. Um, that's my theory. I don't know if it's right or even close, but that's what I feel happens. Um, then we have Daedri, who is a, uh, dark elf who also has lost her memory. Mm, amnesia, the best kind of plot device. But... I want to use correctly. Kind of in a similar situation to Anvius, she sees the spirits of, and I quote, 
the people she's killed. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, but she has no recollection of like why they died or how they died. Like but, Dimitri like, Fire Emblem. Yeah, very <laughs> similar. Um, <clears throat> but she's like the sweetest character ever and always rolls like a 27 on initiative because of a feat she took. That's not normal. Yeah, well, the, in... No, in... I mean, no, I mean my... How that worked? How that killed him in one go, instead of in multiple. Well, the bottom one tends to go in one go, for some reason. Nice! Don't hit that candle! Thank you, John. It's not like I'm gonna actually get any further, much further, but... But I'd like to remind you. Um... And, and Daedri, like, uh, with one of the feats she has, essentially gets, like I said, like a 27 every time that, she, that they roll initiative. Like, if they roll higher than a 10, they're going first. Um, because I think they have the observant or the alert feat. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. Um, and then there is, uh, by far the, uh, the oh. overall fan favorite character, Silri who is, um, a mess. <laughs> Silri is, um, a half-elf druid. Uh, like, motto is burn the past, and she literally, like, burns the past. She's a fucking, like, fire wizard. It's crazy. Burns everything. Um, uh, she, like, her goal is to find her brother, who is the reason that they're in debt. I think? That's my understanding of it, at least. <laughs> Angry Ted. Sorry. I'm actually, uh... We may, uh... We may have to call it after this episode, guys. But, uh... Um, no, we absolutely will be. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... Like, searching for her brother, who's the reason, like, their family is in debt, and why Silri has to send money to people. Um... So, yeah, like, all of... Every single one of the characters is broken in some way. And like it's a super it's a super interesting cast. Um specifically because all of the characters also kind of like rub each other the wrong way a little bit too. So like there's a lot of God, I was like caught by that shit. Silri and August are very close because they've traveled together for a while. That being said That being said, a lot of a lot of the other characters rub each other the wrong way because, like, Anvius is very happy and up and uplifting and happy-go-lucky, but, like, that kind of sometimes rubs Anna the wrong way, who's very like, hey, we need to actually be sitting here planning and doing stuff. So, like, ultimately everything, everything in this game is super interesting and I absolutely love it. I was on the verge of biting my controller like I was talking about while playing Hollow Knight. Oh yeah. I was no. on the verge of doing that again. We if we have to call this episode early, we can. It didn't give me the You have invulnerability. It didn't give me the it doesn't help when it doesn't really do much. I can't use it whenever I want. I can't. Yeah. Like in that one room would be really useful, but it didn't give me the holy water that I need for the next several rooms and for the boss. Yeah. I'm so frustrated I can keep... <laughs> uh... If you need to take a deep breath, take a, take a second and take a deep breath. You got the... Come on, bud. You're okay. Like, you don't... You don't have to... Like, I understand you're getting frustrated. See, you're, you're okay. That was not the thing either. Game has decided not to give me the holy water anymore. Well, that's stupid, game. Fuck you. Um, Keep talking. But yeah, so that's that's kind of what's going on with me. I play a lot of D&D. &D. I have mm -hmm. three games that I'm a part of. Uh, one of which where I'm the dungeon master, two of which where I'm a player. Nice, nice. You can actually, hey, let's just shout them out. You can catch, uh, you can catch the stream game that I'm on, uh, Holy Rollers, uh, every Monday at 10.30 p.m. EST. 
or Get down um, here, damn it. Or 7:30 PST. Get fucking down here. If he wasn't positioned in a way that I took damage every damn time. Yeah. And Ted. Like some of these are positioned in ways I can't. Yeah. Fucking deal with. It's ridiculous. And Ted. Ted's kind of a frequent watcher of the show. So mm -hmm. like, you you could interact with him on the in the Twitch channel. Yeah. So yeah. There's another way to hang out with us. I go by ETK Nagasawa. Yeah. Which no one ever gets to like etik. Yeah, in fact, that's what Matt said. Yeah. He said, it's Kanagasawa. And no, I was like, my that's my co head's Ted. Yeah. <laughs> in the last stream game, I got up to leave because I think I, I thought I TPK'd the party, and then my power went out. So, like... Was it a storm-related thing, or...? Um, yeah. That's what it's I thought. It's a related thing. Um, so... It's been really crazy, the weather here, because it... it it's it, been it, insane. It was like... It was like 50 a couple days ago, now it's up like gonna be up to 80 in the next couple days. Yep. Um, it's like, god damn it, weather. And in, in, in the past couple weeks, we... In the past couple days, we had... Uh... Like, enough rain... Enough rain... Jesus Christ, this fucking... Skeleton! I, I forgot that I didn't have the... The holy water right there. That was me getting angry. I'm, I'm so frustrated I forgot I don't have the item, like, permanently equipped. And I tried using it. Jeez Louise. This game is so cruel. <sighs> yeah, it is. There's also so much RNG involved. Like, that room, you just got lucky, I swear. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Luring is effective. Yeah, that seems to be kind of like your mainstay bread and butter, kind of like how to do it. Landed on it right after, of course. It's okay. It's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Got him. Um, but yeah, so, like, I've been on record saying that I love D&D. D&D is one of the coolest games you could ever play. Um, I highly suggest it to anyone who's um, also, like, trying to get into acting. Because it's a great exercise for uh, improvisation. Oh, excuse me, we just ate right before this. Oh, god. I almost jumped right up into that. That was a heckin' burp. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest checking out D&D. Like, if, if you like role-playing, if you like, uh... If you like role-playing games... I wish I could get that dang heart, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Um... Don't hit that. Yep, you got it. Uh... It's just one of those games that, like, at the end of the day... You. There's something like really, really magical about it because you get to play someone. You, it's, it's like um. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like in acting, um, when you take on a persona wholly. It's very uh. It's very freeing to like completely adopt a character. It's very, it's, like, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but, like, it is also very freeing. And, um, it really, it really puts into perspective, like, what you are, who you are, what you can do. It's just really cool. Is there a chicken down there? I don't think so, and I can't remember where it is anywhere in this level. I actually can't remember where it is in this level. I'm so lucky that doesn't count, is it? Nope. That's okay. It's okay. But yeah, like, do what you love, have a good time, stay safe, all those other things. I don't know when this is coming out, they may announce that, like, the is 
dead. <gasps> the Backstreet Boys are dead. <laughs> By the time this episode comes out. So, uh... Yeah. Like, love each other. Uh, no. Don't do anything stupid. And we'll see you... In the next, next one. Next time.